Hello, welcome to the first of a series of videos um, which is going to go through how to get prepared for the on-screen Python paper 2 test for Edexcel GCSE Computer Science. We're going to go through the practice paper that is in the back of this um, revision workbook. Um, so everyone in year 11 has been given a copy um, of this. If you haven't got yours, then um, you can get it online, but schools can get it cheaper than you can. Um, so if you've lost yours, get in touch um, and we'll um, work with you to get a replacement. Um, Inside the book, it tells you where to download all of the files because this has some um, paper-based activity um, for paper one, but it has some Python challenges for paper two, and there's a link in that book to be able to download all of this code. If you're at Fulford, um, then at the bottom of the BLE, there's a link to be able to download it for you. So you're gonna need these files, the revision workbook, time to test practice paper two. Um, and I would recommend that you download the whole folder as a zip file, and then you need to extract that zip file because it's got the Python files. It's got the solutions in there too. Um, but sometimes when you look at the solutions, they don't make sense. Um, so the idea of this series of videos is to go from the beginning to the solution. So you understand all the thought processes behind. Um, so once you've got that zip folder, remember zipped means it's compressed. It's lossless compression. Um, we've just grouped all of these files into one place. So it's faster to download and takes up less space. You can't edit them and run them while they're um, compressed. You need to extract all. Um, so I'm using Windows 11. It'll look slightly different in Windows 10. You'll have to click on um, Extract Folder, um, and then there'll be an Extract All option there. Uh, choose where you want to put it. I'm going to put it in My Documents Computing Year 11. Um, I'll go for Python Paper 2. So once you've extracted it, you should then hopefully see all of these files. And I'd recommend that you open in Thony um, or any integrated development environment that you're happy with. At full third, the two that you'll have access to um, in the on-screen exam will be Thony and Moo. I would strongly recommend that you use Thony. Um, Moo looks simpler, um, but uh, it doesn't have an easy option to go file and save as. Um, and uh, so Thony is much better in that regard. Um, so that's it for the first video. In the next video, we're going to go through um, the first question. Um, so for now, as long as you've got access to the files and you can open them up in the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment of your choice, um, then that's it. So remember, the catchphrase is you want to be confident for the paper two exam. You might not be feeling confident yet, but if you invest time regularly, you can build up um, experience. And then if you build up experience, then confidence just comes naturally. So put the effort in like you're doing now by watching this video and you will build up that practice, that confidence and then that experience. All the very best. See you in the next video.